Hey, now it's Anthony with a and Professional Services. I want to talk about water tanks. How many gallons do you need? Do you need 330 gallons? Do you need 110 gallons, 200 gallons, 275? We're going to find out in just one second. So stay locked in. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell so you can know when I drop new videos. Another thing I want you guys to do, I've noticed that a lot of people watch my channel and they're not subscribed. I looked at my YouTube analytics and they said 65% of the viewers are not subscribed. That's crazy. I couldn't believe it. I'm happy you guys are watching, but go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. I remember my first water tank. It was 330 gallons. At the time when I bought it, I did not know how many gallons it would take to do one vehicle, a sedan or a truck. I didn't know any of that. I just bought a water tank. At the time, I felt that I was gonna need a lot of water. So I bought the biggest tank I could find and I filled it all the way up. I got did my first car and I had so much water left, so much water left. I was just like, wow. So I was like, okay, I saw how much that I used for one vehicle. I think it was like 10 gallons and I gauged it off that. But it was another thing that I didn't know. It was gallons per minute. I didn't know what gallons per minute was. I didn't even know what it means. All I saw was GPM. I didn't even know what GPM stands for. So for you guys that don't know, when you buy a pressure washer and you see on the box or on the pressure washer GPM, that is gallons per minute, which means if you hold the trigger for a minute, that's how many gallons will come out of your pressure washer. That's very important. A lot of people don't take that in consideration. So you want to know what size tank should I get? Should it be a 60 gallon, a 30 gallon? You know, 100 gallon, 150 gallon, or 200, 300. It all depends on what you're going to be doing. Okay, now if you want to do it all, which is pressure washing, mobile detailing, you, you want to do it all, uh, you want to go with a bigger tank. You want to go with 200, 300, and up. That's where you want to go. Uh, gallons per minute is very important. You got to re always remember that when you're doing that. You also got to take into consideration. What type of vehicle do you have? Okay, so those gallons weigh a lot. One gallon of water weighs approximately eight pounds. I think if you do the math, it's 8.33, but approximately eight pounds. So you got to take that consideration. Will your vehicle be able to haul that? Will your transmission be able to do that? Again, I didn't take that in consideration. You have to think about all of this. Uh, if you're not going to be doing anything but cars, you probably want to go with, you know, 65 or 100 gallon tank and you want to go with a pressure washer with, you know, possibly low GPMs. Depends on how many cars you want to do in a day. If you're going to be doing things like pre-treatment, which you're going to be using something like a degreaser or something that breaks down roll grind. Uh, some people like to wet the vehicle up and then, you know, spray the vehicle down with a degreaser or some type of film remover and uh, then they rinse that off then they wash the car then they rinse it off again that's using a lot of water so your wash process has to determine that too if you like to do all of that which is fine you're going to need more gallons all right um, now if you can't if you don't have the room for a bigger tank in your you know in your vehicle or whatever you're using then you may want to skip steps like that and just get to business uh another thing the foam cannon if you're going to be using the foam cannon it's the same thing you're going to be using more water uh, so that's why i don't use the foam cannon i downgraded to a 110 gallon tank 
Um, I don't use it that often anymore. The only time I use it is if I know that I only got a few vehicles for the day and I'm in a high traffic area and I want to bring attention to myself. Uh, so, you know, I spray foam on the car. It's white and it's all thick and people are looking at it and like, what is that? It'll, you know, bring attraction to me. For them to come over there and ask me for a card and ask me about my services. Uh, but you have to also take that into consideration because now you're dealing with a limited amount of water. You want to conserve water. So you want to be conscious of how much water that you're putting out when you're doing these details. You guys are wondering, well, where can I buy a water tank? And there are several different places you can buy them from. Uh, Northern Tools has them. Uh, you can go to a tractor supply or farm supply place. They have them. Uh, but I was lucky enough to find one that was located here in my state, which is two hours away from me. It's called National Tank Outlet. Again, it's called National Tank Outlet. They're located in Mississippi. Uh, I drove to pick mine up because shipping charges will kill you. That's the problem. When you look for a tank, you can find one anywhere. You can find whatever size you want, color, you know, shape or whatever. You can find them. But the shipping is what's going to kill you. If the tank is $200, best believe the shipping it would be $200 as well. So you can find yourself paying $400 for a tank. So when you go to the, when you look these places up online, try to see where they're located. It might be cheaper for you to drive out there and pick it up yourself. You can save yourself a couple of dollars. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. It don't even count if you don't hit that notification bell. And again, you guys that are watching my channel, that search a and a and watch my channel and don't subscribe, man, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, man, so you can know when the new videos are coming out. I'm out. Shouts out to the new wave. Peace. Go and join the New Way Facebook group by a and I ask for permission to join. I'm accepting everybody. I want to see people in Australia. I want to see what y'all doing in the UK, Germany, like across the world, across the nation as well. So don't forget to join, man. Shouts out to the New Way. Peace.